Hello people from Greenwich Station. Well, I have a lot of things to talk about and I want to talk about everything on this video. I don't want to make it long. So the first thing, um, I was going to talk about Greenwich Jaka. So as you guys know, he's linked with Hertha Berlin and looks like he's very close to joining Hertha Berlin in January. So if I was Arsenal, I already made a video about something that we could replace with. I have two options. The first one is that player that I talked about in the other video, Bruno Guimarães. I think he's absolutely uh, talented as i already said in that video he he literally he has everything you can you can imagine he has pace he's he's really strong his passing is absolutely crazy um he's very good at tackles he's he scores goals too and he's a boxing box midfielder he he does everything he, want, he wanted to and the second option uh, i would give i would say the core maybe i don't think the core will be that expensive the core will be around in my opinion like 25 to i mean 20 to so i would say 35 million so i don't think it's that expensive and i mean if what for gets relegated and then uh if we want to get the core uh his release clause is going to is going to decrease by a lot and people another thing looks like we're doing we're close to sign Upamecano as well uh, as you guys know Chambers went out with an injury Socrates has a concussion and Mustafa looks like he has one too and we not right now we only got David Ruiz and Mavropanos to be honest people I don't think we got anything anyone else um it looks like Chambers was a bad injury Rob Holding he's not completely fit Hector Bellerin is injured as well um, who else is injured? Kolasina is injured. Tina is injured. It, it's our defense is you know, is our it's really bad and and we have so many players injured. The best ones are injured. So yeah, people. I think that we need to buy someone in defense in January, like as soon as possible. So I still believe in the top four. Honestly, I think we're yeah we're eleven points away from Chelsea. They're the fourth team. I honestly think that our problem is not the problem is not going to be be above Chelsea. It's going of course it's a problem. It's going to be hard because they're eleven points above us and they have a decent defense uh, um, compared to ours. And I think the problem is going to be being above Tottenham because they got a new manager. And I, I think it's going to be hard to stop them. And if they have a good transfer window in January, if they buy, for example, a centre-back, they're also linked with Upamecano. It's going to be really hard to stop them people unless we get another defender. I don't know. If we don't get Upamecano, I don't know who we're going to get. Maybe Gabriel for a little, but I don't know. People. Um, also about Granit Xhaka, um, as I already said, Hertha Berlin is really close to joining to sign up Duane Xhaka and a little source is saying right now that they want him on loan so basically get him in January and and um have an option to buy 25.6 million pounds at the end of the at the end of the season so people I would not do that why would you do why would you loan him like if you want him pay us the money pay us the money so you have to pay us the money so we can buy another player and i would not loan him why would you loan granite chakra why would you loan a player that is essential for us if you if you don't like him whether you like him or not people you have to you have to say that he's essential for us him and Torreira, the whole partnership you saw what happened when Guendouzi played against um Guendouzi and Torreira played against chelsea it's not compact people it's just there's no defensive awareness from Guendouzi. his positioning is terrible defensively and <laughs> This just cannot happen. Uh, Torreira is going to be literally doing everything by himself in the midfield defensively. So it's going to be really hard for him, people. And I don't think he has the stamina to run up and down, up and down, up and down uh, for the whole for the whole, for the the whole, whole time. And because, for example, Kante, he has the help for Kovacic. Kovacic is also a defensive player. He's good defensively. And Jorginho also helps a little bit. And so, people, Kante has all the support he needs. He has two players supporting him. Torreira, he has one. And... Which, which is going to Jaka. If he loses going to Jaka, he's going to have Gunduzi, which is basically nothing, nothing defensively, people. So, yeah, I think the loan, I will not loan going to Jaka. I will sell him if you want him, then buy him, buy him. I, we don't want to give him a loan because it's just useless. And another one, Thomas Lemar, people. Um, honestly, I remember 2017 when we were linked with him when he was in Monaco. And honestly, even now he's he's at Atletico Madrid. Last season he had a terrible season. Uh, cannot he could not get into the starting eleven. Maybe it was something, just like of maybe he didn't adapt to the 
to the new country maybe it didn't, it didn't i don't know something maybe happened there it's not his style of playing la liga maybe he is going to fit in another league but i would not risk it people uh monaco were asking for around 18 million in 2017-18 season and today i don't think he's half worth it i think he's worth around like 13 million 30 million and i don't see atletico madrid selling him for uh 30 million because if I'm not mistaken, they bought him for they bought him for sixty around sixty seventy million. So why would they sell it for thirty? Uh, I don't I don't I don't think they're gonna do that. And they bought him last season. I think he has like three three four years on his contract left. I think he has three and three years and some months left on his contract. So yeah, people, it's just they're basically going to lose fifty million. So why would they do that? They're not gonna do that, people. They're gonna ask for at least for a re at least fifty five million. And yes, people. I don't, I will not buy him. I don't think he's good enough for Arsenal. And yes, people, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Um, not a lot to talk today. Not a lot to talk about today. I want to make this short video. And yes, people, thank you so much. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thank you. Come on, you guys.